Uh, Bo, you suppose you could slip out that back door and uh, bring us some food? Without getting shot? I wish you would. Don't know what he wants me to do, get shot or get food. Want me to go with you? Yeah, and if I get shot, you can bring back the food. And I'm also going to bring back a big bar of soap. This place will never be Delmonico. But the food would taste better if a fella I know would use that bar of soap. Bo, why don't you just get? I'm going. I suppose I could use a little bath. I'd appreciate it. Hello there. I'm Bob West, and welcome to another edition of Studio 7. And yes, we have our cowboy hat on today. We have it on because we're going to talk to you about an older movie. This was done by director Howard Hawks. It was done in 1966, and it's called El Dorado. And it is the first review of a John Wayne movie. Yes, that's right, folks. I'm going to drop back into the past. We're going to time warp again. Back to the era when westerns were the thing. And why are we doing this? Because they don't make a lot of good westerns anymore. And when you talk about that five out of seven, six out of seven, seven out of seven movie, Normally, John Wayne hits seven out of seven. Not in this case. John Wayne movies are good. They're not always great, but they're good. This one happens to be excellent. So it does get a six out of seven rating. And it gets that six out of seven rating for a few reasons. Number one, it has John Wayne. But number two, it has Robert Mitchum. Number three, it has an up-and-coming guy by the name of James Caan. These people are all very handy. You probably don't know who any of them are, but every once in a while you ask yourself, why is it that people watch Westerns for a long time? What is it about Westerns? Well, let me tell you what it is number one. Number one, everybody likes horses. So Westerns have horses. Number two, most guys like guns and Westerns have guns. So you have guns and you have horses. Number three, they usually have good looking women. That's right. So since most guys like good looking women, horses and guns, we like Westerns. Number four, why can we drag you to a Western? Because normally there's panoramic views, there's scenery, there's people riding their horses against the mountain backgrounds. These are the best reasons to go see the Western. But the best reason to see El Dorado, if you're interested in seeing what we call a John Wayne Western, especially one later in his career, is because this movie has Robert Mitchum, John Wayne, Ed Asner, and James Caan. And it's surrounded with a host of extra individuals to round the whole thing out. So it has a wonderful supporting cast. Now it has a, an easy plot to follow. John Wayne being a hired gunman, Robert Mitchum being the sheriff, Ed Asner being the bad guy. That's an easy plot to follow. But the how and the why of it is excellent. And what's really nice is that it's what we call a breakthrough ro role for James Caan. <laughs> something from me? You don't remember me, do you? No. Do you remember this hat? Well, why in the hell would I remember a hat? <laughs> <laughs> you killed a man that was wearing it. Ladies. Just who was this fellow I killed? A friend of yours? Yeah, I guess you could say that. When did I do this, boy? Two years ago, come September. You and three others. Not just under the hill on the Mississippi. He was a gambler named Johnny Diamond. And he was kind of an old man. Shouldn't have taken for you. Do you remember, Charlie? Yeah, I remember. He was a card sharp. He is cheating. No. No, he was good. Didn't have to cheat. It really shouldn't have taken for you, Charlie. No, it shouldn't have. Well, I'm sure glad you remember Mr. Higgin. The other three did. The other three? Yeah. I caught up with them. 
You're the last. And now I think you better stand up. Stand up, Charlie. I'm curious to see how he does this. He doesn't have a gun. And like he said, it shouldn't have taken four of you. Stand up, Charlie. He was pretty young when he did this movie, and when you see him, you're going to go, still don't know who you're talking about. But if you're in your late 40s, 50s, 60s, you're going to know exactly who I'm talking about when I mention all these names. If you're doing a film appreciation class, this is one of those movies you should look back for. It runs about two hours and eight minutes. It, it did not get an Academy Award as far as I know. Um, but again, Westerns usually didn't. So it definitely was well worth seeing. So the movie again is called El Dorado, John Wayne, Robert Mitchum, James Caan, directed by the legendary Howard Hawks. This movie is an excellent study in what Western should be and it's the kind of movie that people studied later on to do the good westerns. And right now, we haven't had a lot of good westerns come out in the last 25 years. And those that have come out, oddly enough, have involved the same people. Robert Duvall, Sam Elliott, Tom Selleck, and Kevin Costner. So when you look back at these people that you do know, their careers, they grew up watching these movies. A movie like El Dorado. So if you get a chance, you'll see it on Netflix. It's populating again. You might as well take an evening and see it. It's a wonderful movie. Again, for Studio 7, I'm Bob West. We give this movie 6 out of 7 stars.